people just going to tell you how the cloud came about and the history behind cloud. So many years ago, when companies started hosting applications and storing data, they had to host these applications on hardware servers. A server is just a device that has compute capacity in it, and on that device, you could be able to host your application to store your data inside. Servers are very expensive. So many companies, they had large amount of data and they had so many applications to run. Now that prompted them to buy so many servers and they had to find buildings known as data centers where they were going to host those hardware servers inside. Companies had to pay for people to manage those data centers, manage those servers and actually add more servers when there was actually demand for it. Imagine this entire data center went down, guys, what's going to happen to your application? Because of this then, small businesses could not actually start. They could not operate because they never had the capital to host those hardware infrastructures. Big organizations felt bad about customers. Now, these organizations actually decided to take ownership as to how they could manage these um, data centers. Organizations decided to build data centers around the world and in these data centers, they were actually able to host services in them. Consider such organizations to be cloud providers. You have them like AWS, GCP, Azure, and these are all the cloud providers that we have and other small cloud providers that we have out there. These cloud providers took ownership of hosting these data centers and in these data centers, they were going to host hardware servers. On these data centers, they were going to host services in them. These services are actually what they're going to provide to customers to use. Customers can be able to access the services over the internet and they can use these services to host their applications as well as they can use these services to store their data. Customers do not need to buy hardware servers anymore. They do not need to own um, data centers anymore, they are able to just subscribe to the services provided by the cloud provider and they can use these services and scale their businesses. That is simply what the cloud is all about. If you want to know so much about the cloud, please subscribe to my page, follow my page and I'll be giving you so much content on what cloud computing is. Thank you.